It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. You're tuned into your feel good breakfast show. This is Express Only on SABC3. Now, the annual under 18 Craven Week is underway, and yesterday was day two of the competition. And uh, we now have Brandon Yates in studio to give us a bit of an insight into what went down at Paul Rose High School yesterday and also to preview some of the games that will be happening later on today. He'll also be joining us for the rest of the week to chat about so this very important schoolboy rugby event. Brandon, very nice to have you back with us in studio, man. Thanks for having me again. So, yet again, a very, very exciting rugby day yesterday at Paul Rose. So, first of all, chat to us about the atmosphere. What is it like currently yeah. um, at, 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 at Paul Rose? Well, as always, there's been a fantastic atmosphere, as there has been throughout the, the entire week. Um, plenty of fans turned out to watch the best schoolboy rugby's in the country take each other on. There was a really good sportsmanship that was shown on the field as well, which was nice to see from the awesome. young lads. Um, a couple of celebrities turned out. John Smith was there, Butch James were there to watch these young stars and probably try and sign them up for a couple of unions like the Sharks, yeah. uh, the Cheaters and that kind of thing. Awesome. So plenty of people watching the talent and potentially signing them up and you know, going out there to notice the future stars. Love it. So let's go into uh, some of the results that came out yesterday. Yeah, so there were some very uh, good results yesterday. There were a couple of teams that were playing out there and you know, doing really well for themselves. We had the Greek was uh, managing to just defeat, defeat Zimbabwe there, 17 points to 12, and then... The Falcon managed to outclass the EP country districts uh, 43 points to 17. And then a Greek was flanker by the name of Janku Pluta managed to score a hat trick of tries where mm. they beat the Leopards 28 points to 17. And so those were some of the games that were really interesting to watch yesterday. Brilliant. And then we turn out into the main games that, um, the, the, you know, the games that people are always talking about. KZN taking on the Lions, the SWD Eagles playing against the defending champs, EP. Um, run us quickly in a nutshell what, uh, you know, what happened on the field in those games. So KZN managed to come from behind twice to beat uh, the Golden Lions 18 points to 16 with right wing Koliso Guma managed to scoring a try in the final minutes of play um, mm. to, to win the game for the, uh, for the Sharks. So he was named the hero of the day. So that was a really great performance from him. But overall, it was a very good team performance from KZN to, you know, to come from behind twice yeah. in a game against a really strong side is a really uh, uh, yeah. a big... Uh, it, it makes the team look really good on the field. Um, and then the main game of the day, I would say, saw um, Eastern Promise taking on the SWD Eagles, where it was a repeat of last year's final. And um, Kerwin Bosch, we've been talking about him for a while now, and he was an absolutely outstanding individual yesterday, scoring 21 points with a boot, yeah. uh, three conversions, three drop goals, and two penalties. So he was named man of the match. Um, and his team also performed really well because they scored four tries on the day as well. So they really did a fantastic job yesterday. And Kerwin Bosch, I would say, at the moment, is definitely the most... Uh, sought after schoolboy rugby player in South Africa because there's rumours going online as well that um, the Sharks have offered him a contract of 350,000 rand a year and a free card just to sign him for the Sharks. And he's an 18-year-old schoolboy, so clearly someone that's highly in demand um, around the country. Brilliant. But this is what I love about the crazy week is you just see these, these talents emerging. Quickly, uh, tell us uh, about what we can look forward to today in terms of games. Uh, there's plenty of big fixtures today, as you can see on the screen there. There's Limpopo Blue Balls taking on Border Country Districts, Free, Free State taking on Namibia, the Blue Balls taking on the Pumas, which is always a big clash, Borland taking on Border, and then the semi-final, which is happening today, which is Western Province taking on the Griffins, which are two teams that have been performing right. really well throughout the week. So awesome rugby on the go once again. Awesome rugby on the go, Brandon. Thank you so much for joining us. Looking forward to having you back again a little bit later or tomorrow, actually, to, to, to find out exactly what went down today at Paul Ruiz. All right, stick around for that. Craven Week, we're talking that. Right now, let's find out what's coming up next. Here's Ilana.